so I look crazy I know I know and it's not a very good angle but today you're gonna be watching me apply this wig so I already I can make a tutorial on a different video but I already blended the um the wig cap to my head it's not that good and some of my my edges come out pretty far like they come like they be having like strands of hair anyways so yeah now now y'all can just watch me actually apply the wig i'm gonna start off with this glue this is the glue i use or i usually just do this if i want to do a temporary wear but i'm gonna go ahead and use this because i'm gonna keep this on for at least two weeks i'm, I'm shooting for two weeks and y'all know me i don't keep hairstyles in for that long so hopefully hopefully it doesn't look raggedy by two weeks so what i'm gonna do here i'm going to size it and see if my placement is right so when I glue it down, I can just, you know, pull it and then place it right where it needs to be. I feel like this side is perfect, but this side isn't. I'm gonna have to pull this side kind of tight if I want. I'm gonna try to take my time with this because this is a really cute wig. It's, just, it's a 30 inch. It's a um, deep wave 30 inch. All right, let's get the glue in. I know I'm pretty close, but I'm gonna start gluing and y'all can see exactly where I put it at. These are very helpful. These are here. They're very helpful for, you know, putting the glue down. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put some drops below the lace and above it. And I'm gonna start with the middle and I'm gonna just go back and forth and I'm gonna do about three layers and then put it on and I'm gonna do the other layers. I'm gonna start in sections because the wig is kinda, it's, it's, I feel like I'm gonna mess up. So I gotta be careful and take my time. Now, as y'all see, all I'm doing here is combing the lace so that the glue can stick down to my skin. So my camera had died. This is it. This is after putting the um the wrap on and everything. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the edges. And what I'm going for is something like this. What I'm going for is something like this. So we're gonna try to do that. Or maybe I can. Nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for that look. But I'm not sure exactly how. So, 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take, I'm going to look at it some more. I'm going to take all of this out. I think I made my forehead too big. <laughs> See when I'm recording it it like I never do good when I'm recording for some reason. I do better when I'm not. Probably because I'd be trying to make it look good. I don't know. I just never really be looking good. See, I'm getting frustrated because I'm trying to keep y'all like kind of, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to keep y'all like satisfied, but then I can't get super close to the mirror to see. So I might have to turn the camera off for a little bit so I can section it out and then turn it back on. So I just section sectioned it out, and this is what it's looking like. You gotta trust the process trust the process hopefully i pray i have never done these type of edges before so i really pray that i do it right because these are cute so maybe i should no. so i'm gonna do that i don't even think i'm doing anything um Some. but I'm going to use this and here's my edges brush here's my edges brush right here let me look at it again I'm gonna start right here Start all right here. Mm. So I'm working sections. So I just parted these off. I'm gonna put it behind my ear, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take my razor and I'm gonna. if I can do this. I'm just winging it at this point. So go ahead and take your gel. And I feel like I'll be seeing people do this. It makes me nervous, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So boom. I'm gonna make one side longer. Okay. I think I cut myself because it burns. Okay. I wish y'all can see better. I don't know how to. So, that's, <laughs> that's my first little swoop. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other swoops. I'm not liking it so far, but maybe, maybe I just gotta trust the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. That's a side. I decided to use mousse so I can make it more natural so I can just comb it out at the end. Cause I never did that before. Usually I just be sticking to my head. So I thought with this style, I can do something different. Well, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> hold on. All right, so I just got done doing the edges. Um, I think they probably just have to grow on me. 
because I'm not I'm not used to doing edges like that. Usually I just do edges right here, edges right here, or a little swoop right there. But here it is. So now I'm gonna go ahead and style it because that's probably it's probably what oh wait. Yeah, see, I probably just gotta style it. I just gotta figure out how I wanna style it. I don't know if I wanna do like a an invisible. Ooh. What if I do like a like this, like an invisible part? Not an invisible part, but like no part at all. And just let it let it do it, you feel me? But I I've combed this part out and this part is like real defined. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet this and probably put some loose on it. Maybe. And yeah, then I'm gonna turn the camera back on. Or maybe y'all can just watch me. Y'all wanna watch me? Because y'all can watch me. So I'm gonna Maybe I should. Straighten this out a little bit. I don't want the front to be all wavy. I want it to be straight and then I want the, yeah, like that. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the bottom portion of the hair. Make sure you get the ends because that's where the is coming in that and then let me do the other side The back is kind of on, like directly on my ear and it is bothering me so bad. So I might have to sew it. And the textures are too, maybe I should wet the entire thing. Thinking. Because the textures are a little too different for me. Make sure you get the back. And the ends are the most important part. Now, go ahead and comb that through. Like so. Now it's getting frizzy. But that's what this mousse is for. Hopefully it doesn't make it, you know. But I might put the mousse on tomorrow or Sunday because I have somewhere to be. I'm not really focused on how it looks right now. <sighs> so time consuming. Make sure you detangle everything. Okay, there we go. Now it's now it's coming to life. It's coming to life. Now I'm getting what I want. And then I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put where I got the hair in the description. It's soft. Let me finish it all that out. And the part go back pretty far. And then my usual wigs. I forgot the I forgot what size I usually get, but it's not this size. So make sure. See, yeah, I didn't come that out right because. I comb it all the way through so when I flip it to any side I don't have any issues like
this wig is really given. Do y'all see? I never did this before. <laughs> but, um, that's the video for you guys. Make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell. Bye.